getting his morning run in. Let's go and hassle him, see what he's doing. Welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We haven't done an uncut for ages because we've been piddling around doing other stuff like the Transporter uh, was launched, the RS6 was launched. They're being extra noisy this morning, aren't they? I, know. I, know this I think is it's deliberate. Workshop, but they're, they're... I think it's deliberate. Yeah. Should we start by introducing Mark's tool chest? Like, we, we took on a new tech about two months ago and he bought a tool chest in and I think he stole it from NASA. Come and have a look at this. Come over here, come and look at this tool chest. Right. I, I don't even know what half of these tools are for. Is this a, Is this radio? That's not a radio, is it? Is it? Is that your radio as well? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. He needs, a, he needs a, like, a mechanical degree just to work out what the thing is. It comes with a DJ as well. Right, so so this. This. And this isn't even all of it. This is like half of it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can literally. Mark, first of all, how much did all of this cost? <laughs> can we not tell the can we not tell the viewers how much it costs? It's a three bedroom house up in the northeast, I reckon. <laughs> Is it over a hundred thousand pounds? Yeah. Wow. And bear in mind your missus probably won't see this, will she? Like you're not gonna get probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so Mark's wife is going to know that he spent over a hundred thousand pounds of his hard-earned money on this. But this is over the course of like your career, so what? Thirty years, forty years, thirty plus years. So he's calling you old now, Mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I might have got a little twenty years because <laughs> you're only in your you're only in your like late thirties, early forties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's impressive. It's got a light and everything. <laughs> I'm just blown away. I don't I don't know what 99.8% of these tools actually do. No, no, no. I, I thought these cars were just built with a Phillips and a, and a 10 mil spanner. I thought that was it. But His name's is... Mark, not Philip. I can't tell him to stop because he's got to do something really important. Can you stop banging for a second? But then you have to stop working, don't you? I want it done, so I can, yeah, you're just gonna have to put up with the noise. This is, um, yeah, commercial Urus. We'll, we'll get it out in a second. We'll show you the decals down the side, but basically the, this customer's branding was black and gold. He wanted the calipers changed into gold and some gold detail around the car. We've gone kind of subtle on this. Uh, we'll pull it out and we'll show you now. It don't, they sound awesome, no, don't the, they? And yeah. I know 100 grand's more than, you know, like for that over an RSQ8, but the RSQ8 is a hairdryer, isn't it? Uh, it's, that, it's completely and utterly different. Anyone that says it's just an Audi RSQ8. We've covered this enough times. Give we'll it another, cover it again. We can cover it every give week give how it much bit. better a Eurus is than an RSQ8. The Listen RSQ8 does not sound like that. Oh, it's so cool. Do you know what, the, the SBR was always, my, so top three cars, right? Aventador SVJ Roadster, Escort Cosworth, Urban SVR. They, they've been my top three since of since The I've thing is, the SVR but is, obviously, the, it's, coming to, it's coming to the end of, end of its... Life. Now it's Urus, yeah, yeah. now it's Urus. There's no, there's no car in the world that does everything so well. Like any, you know, there's nothing better, nothing. Now, check this out. This is the most expensive Eurus we've ever built. It's in factory satin black. Uh, it's Nero something or other, like I just explained. I can't remember the name of it. 
it's with our forged carbon as well. So what we've done, we've put our wide arches on. They've got a fine line in satin, but then gloss here. So they go through like a, I think it's like a four stage paint process. So we, we lacquer the whole um, wide arch. Then we put matte paint on here. I don't actually know, I don't know what, what way they do it, but I, I just know it's like three or four ways. If, if there's any painters watching, you'll know exactly what's going on and how complex it is. But it's basically one layer down, gloss the carbon, sat in the paint, and then finish it with satin lacquer, but without coming into the gloss. So it's very complex. This is Bruce Wayne's Urus. Oh, is it? It is, isn't it? It's Bruce, no, it's not. It's, it's, for, it's for a guy from up north. It's Bruce Wayne Northern. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, so yeah. this is Bruce Wayne stroke Batman's spec, isn't it? Yeah. Black with small little yellow details. I love it. It looks awesome. So we've got a couple of cars in completion at the minute which will be available. One of which is this Nardo Grey RS6 with our new aero program. Um, as we introduced before, it's got front lip, side seals, rear replacement diffuser, exhaust is coming soon, and top and bottom spoilers. Um, I'm actually gonna add a couple more components to this actually. I want a, a carbon flash through there. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. To make it like look speed and- Canards? and a corresponding one in the front, not a canard, but to come from here and round the side okay, so it matches nice. the back. Yeah, nice. I just think it needed something else to finish it off. Um, yeah, just to make it, make it a bit more complex. Just a couple of little additions. Do you know what I love? Yellow Lamborghini Uruses. And I'll tell you why. Because I know, you know, the, the nerds in the comment section are going to say yellow is the original Ferrari colour, but when I think yellow, I think Lamborghini. Is yellow the original Ferrari yeah, colour? Yeah, Ferraris were originally that. yellow. I, 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 Ferraris are red, mate. I know, modern day Ferraris, but the original race cars, I believe, were yellow. I don't know, get in the comments and tell me I'm wrong. I won't read them, I don't care. But I think Lamborghini, I think yellow. And I think, I think awesome. yellow as well. Yeah. Not many people order it like that. This one's actually wrapped. Yeah. Um, and it's wrapped in a yellow, which is pretty much identical to the factory yellow. So we've got a gray car and made it like another factory color. And ironically, we had a yellow car that was made gray a couple of weeks ago. The opposite, ago. yeah, we should have spoke, yeah. We should have yeah. spoke to those two and said, look, we need to get, get together and uh, get, get a little swapsy going on. But yeah, I mean, the calipers match perfectly. Yeah, match perfect, yeah. So yeah, cool, very cool. In the wrap bay, we have got a G400 having a full G63 uh, bumper uplift plus our soft kit plus 23 inch UC4s. Now it's the first time we put UC4s in satin black on this car and they look excellent, don't they Lenny? They do, sorry I got distracted. Um, I know that you like gloss black but satin black looks better on, don't, wi don't wince at me, looks much better on a G63. Do you know what my problem with satin, satin wheels is? And I had a conversation with my customer last week about this. And I like them and I'll, I'll always obviously advise a customer, but then it's subjective. You like satin, I like gloss. Yeah. Satin just looks like it's covered in brake dust. Yeah, but satin, you can see the detail because you get the sheen off the design of the wheel. Gloss just loses all detail. You, you, don't, you don't see, look at this RS6 wheel here, for example. You can see all of that detail, yeah? The cuts, which they lollipop out in the design. Yeah, if that was gloss, you wouldn't be able to see any of that. It just looked like a blur. Maybe that's my eyesight, I don't know. Is it my eyesight? I don't know. What's go, your, what do you think, satin black or gloss it all black? It goes back best? to the, uh, you know, the taste is subjective thing, isn't it? That's it, no yeah. one's right or wrong. Except like your urban top, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I managed, to get some, I? <laughs> yeah, I managed to get some new uniform, finally, after that six months of asking. So thanks for that, mate, appreciate it. So this car is going matte metallic charcoal. It's actually one of my um, favorite matte wraps. You can see here, it's just gone on the front bumper, just doing the rear bumper now. This one's gonna look cool when it's done. Nice contrast between black, gloss, gloss black roof, we're keeping a black roof, yeah. Yeah, black roof with a full kit and the light bar on. It's gonna look pretty epic. What do you think, Lenny? Sorry, what? I was asking you what you thought of the color. It's great. 
Nice, I like it. What's the right answer? Sorry, I just I just saw an email coming. I need to action straight away, so I'm kind of I'm what kind of is lost. it? Your lunch order or something like that? <laughs> oh, so fine. Now you come up with something witty, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's go outside. Let's see what's going on outside. Did Speaking of suntans, look at this. This was from the New Forest. What? Not even Portugal or anything like I that. I don't look. believe him. He visited the sun. Oh, right. He actually went to the sun on holiday. Oh wait there, this is Richard from Premier Sport Solutions. Hi Richard, I'm filming a YouTube video at the moment. Can you call me back or can I call you back? Or would you like to be on it? I mean, you, you can be on it if you want. We'll invoice him for that bit, yeah? What? That bit. That yeah, we'll invoice promo. Premier Sports. Yeah, 1,000 yeah. pound plus VAT yeah. for promo. Yeah, so, so Mark, Mark is no... currently the most tanned person in the business and I'm trying to catch him up. I can't believe you got that from the New Forest. I'm, I need to go there. I need to go to somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, just as crazy as normal, we've got this lovely Carpathian grey defender um, just in final uh, clean here. This has got our design pack on, rear spoiler, front light pod, just needs its decals and then it's finished. But this is my favourite colour for a defender, actually. Yeah, Carpathian or a Carpathian grey. Yeah, you just colour. get a nice contrast between, between the black and the Carpathian. So. And look, yeah. gloss wheels. I'm not sure. Gloss wheels. Yeah, you can't see the detail. Look, no, look, no, but no, you can't no, see the detail. But look, look, it just all works so perfectly. Gloss, 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 Carpathian, gloss roof, gloss roof light bar. Gloss, what, are we, what are we going? Gloss. Just gloss. Gloss. <laughs> gloss. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're, nice probably, you're probably right. It probably it's does nice look that. better with gloss on those wheels. Yeah. Do you want to do a wrap up or so? <laughs> you wrap up. Because I'm getting like, is we're 10 minutes in out of air conditioning now. So I need to get back to the office into my air conditioned office. Okay, Let's wrap it up please. That's it for this week. Well, like that. <laughs> Is this where you have to get all like showman here? Right, right guys, that's no, it for this no, week. That, no, that was it. That was it. it. That's it, done. Right guys, that, that, I can't even get. Uh, no, don't worry about it, that's done, it's done. Right guys, that's it for this week. As you can see, normal chaos at Urban. Lenny's still a moody <laughs> um, That's it. <laughs>